when I was in high school, I liked to, I kind of dressed a little weird. <laughs> I, I liked to stand out. My dad was a minister, so the minister's son, you were kind of like, I'm not sort of the, you know, always going to church and always following the rules. So I wanted people to say, hey, who's that guy? He's, you know, he's so weird or whatever. My grandfather was uh, George T. Scroggie. He was a uh, captain uh, with the Canadian Army during the First World War. One of the things I remember is we, he would, we have a cottage uh, near Perry Sound, and so one of the duties of the grandkids was to uh, help him put the flag up in the morning and take the flag down at night. So he would line us up like we were in a little army and we'd march down and he'd have a little cadence that he would do and take us and we'd put the flag up and then at night we'd take the flag down we had a little song that we would sing. When I got to a certain age my grandmother um, gave me certain items that belonged to him and one of them was the trench coat. I used to have swimming trunks too but we call it a trench coat because soldiers were in the trenches wearing these coats. Because it has multi-layers too, I wore it several different ways with just the coat. Sometimes I wore the inner part with the uh, belt around it. Um, and just the, there's, there's some uh, buttons on the top that are very intricate and uh, just something that you don't see every day. There's a patch on the side. There were other people that wore trench coats, but no one had a trench coat that was, uh, you know, worn in a war. So when I was, I'm going to say probably about 16 years old, I had a friend and he lived in Moncton. I was going to go visit him. So the only way was to hitchhike. And I'd hitchhike before and, and usually, you know, pick up trucks and stuff. But on this particular day, uh, someone on a motorcycle came by. and I climbed aboard, put on the helmet. I don't think it fit. <laughs> it was loose on my head, so I had to tighten the chin strap, you know, uh, grabbed a hold of the sides of the motorcycle, and in that bitter day, we drove off. I just remember driving down the, the highway and the coat flapping behind me really fast. And I think the driver of the motorcycle probably was showing off, probably wanted to, you know, here's this kid, I want to just, you know, scare the daylights out of him. I remember just thinking this is, this is insane. You know, I hope I don't let go because I'm going to be a goner if I do. It was very stark and, and the trees were, no leaves were left on the trees and just uh, maybe because these trees have no leaves and I maybe I started to think about the landscapes that my grandfather would have been fighting in. I remember my grandfather who rode a motorcycle and seeing pictures of him in his uniform on the motorbike thinking that maybe at some point in time he would have had this coat on and been on a motorcycle. It just was a, a weird connection with him at that point um, that, uh, you know, grandson and grandfather connecting in, in a weird kind of way. When he went off, to, my grandfather went off to war, he wasn't married yet. Um, so that meant that my mom wasn't, uh, hadn't been born. So the fact that he decided that he wanted to go over there, enlist, go over, fight for his country, um, perhaps die, and that he came back and, and was able to go on and have a family, that, that meant that I could exist. I guess I, I just, like I said, I, I realized that 
because this is probably one of the last times that I wore the coat, um, that I realized how special it was. You're in a moment and you sort of go outside of yourself, almost like you can see yourself, um, like you're looking down on yourself and it, it, you kind of start to go, this is me, this is who I am right now. Like I'm in this moment, I'm making these decisions. I'm, I'm in control of, of what I'm doing in my life. And, um, you know, I, I'm hope I'm making the right decisions and I'm hope I'm doing the right things. And I guess too, that connects me with him that even though people always told me about him and about how, you know, proud he was and how uh, brave he was, that he was just a person, an individual, that like we all are, like, um, that we can do extraordinary things, but in, we still have the same problems, we still have the same joys, and, you know, we still want to live a good life.